welcome back it's Shelby and today we are making a cute little feather headband so I have just like a headband that's kind of similar to my hair color it's like a pale brown so close to blonde and then these peacock feathers cuz I love peacock they're just absolutely beautiful they are so extra with the blues and the greens and the reflecting love them so there's six pieces in here I'm just gonna open it up so it comes like this from the craft store. Look at how beautiful these are. Oh my goodness. So these are going to be our headband, which is going to be a little bit of a like fascinator type thing, but super easy to do. You just need the headband, feathers, and hot glue. I will link everything you need down in the description below along with my socials as always. I chose a thinner headband because the thick ones these feathers aren't going to do a real great job of covering it and it doesn't need to be fully covered it is close to your hair's color hopefully but the idea is just to attach it we're going to be attaching it down just with a little bit of hot glue so it leaves a little bit let's see there we go just because this is in the background and it looks cool but I'm always like finding a bit of wall that I can like hold the things that I need the camera to see up against without disappearing into the picture um, but the idea is just to arrange the feathers in a cool little way around the headband that kind of sticks up and shows them off a little bit. Some of the thicker feathers are actually going to cover the headband a little bit better. So we'll just kind of get those down as well. And um, yeah, just create a really beautiful little headband fascinator made out of peacock feathers. Hopefully you guys like it. If you do, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I do really love hearing from you guys. And um, yeah, let's get going. So before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about the feathers I chose. There were two types of peacock feathers at the craft store. I chose these. You can see they have all the beautiful green and blue on one side and very sparse little nothings on the other. So they're not symmetrical at all. They also have the very symmetrical peacock feathers, like the ones that are kind of like that with the like eye in there. I didn't choose that because I'm curving it around a headband. So I actually kind of want one side to be super shrimpy. And then when I curve it around, the other side's going to create a lot of drama and have that color and beautiful movement that I'm looking for without creating a lot of bulk down here that's going to be on my head and like be pushed up by my hair and just create a lot of like muddiness or whatever, as it were. Um, just, I thought it would be easier to use these. So that's why I chose these rather than your like, I guess, stereotypical peacock feathers with the like eye in the center. Um, but you can choose either and the craft store definitely had both but I thought these were pretty and a good choice so that is what I went with. So I'm going to start by just taking my hot glue gun and starting at the bottom of my headband and just running a bead of hot glue, just a very small bead, just up maybe about two, three inches and then getting the first feather that I want which is this one, no, which one do I want to use? I want to use this one, this one first, and I'm going to start it right at the bottom. Got to move a little bit quickly and just kind of attach it going up just like that. Glue is hot, but I'm going to risk it and press the feather in a little bit just like that. Just so that it is stuck on there. That is the very first kind of step. Basically, we're going to be layering the feathers and then molding them to the shape that we want them to be. So now that it's attached, I'm going to be shaping it a little bit. So I'm going to bring these feathers and you can either trim them or leave them on, but basically I'm just keeping them because I want a little bit more of the headband covered, but I don't want them sticking up out of my hair. So I want to make sure that it's glued down and I'm just going to run another little bead of hot glue. Basically, I'm just working in sections to make sure that it doesn't like harden or solidify before I have a chance to get the feather where I want it to be. I'm using a small bead of glue so that hopefully I don't have like this crazy amount of hot glue sticking up afterwards because you know even though it's clear it is still visible. Um, so just as like small amount as possible and then just using the feather to kind of cover up the headband a little bit. Like I said I chose one in my hair color so it's not the biggest deal and then I'm just pulling off a little bit of the excess hot glue with my fingers. So now our feather sticks that much and basically just gonna continue the process until it is all the way adhered down to the headband. Working in processes like this works too because I'm also 
getting it on a side of the headband. It's kind of hard to tell, but there's a great deal of headband on this side. I mean, the headband's only like that thick, but like two thirds of it is behind the feather. The feather's really up at the front. And that's good because when I put on more feathers, they're just gonna tuck behind this one. Like this is really the one that you're gonna see. That's why I wanted the pretty one. You can see it's got a couple of the plumes up, but it's got this beautiful movement and that really beautiful green blue iridescence that I want. And then I'm just gonna tuck the very end feathers down because they're a little bit crazier than I'm going for. So I'm just gonna bring those down just a little bit. I don't wanna like completely smush them down, but I wanna tame them a little bit. I don't want, I want that one up. No, I want that one down. Here we go. So that is the first step, first feather. We're gonna make it slightly crazier than this, but honestly, I just want it to be like beautiful and just kind of a really cool, interesting piece that's not too crazy that you could wear kind of every day. So for my next layer of feathers, I'm probably not gonna use all six, but I definitely wanna use at least three. So I've got this, and this one is a very similar shape. There's a couple that are different shapes. Um, like this one, for example, is quite a bit, um, I guess, larger of a plume, and this is more dense, whereas this is more sparse. Um, my first feather that I used was pretty pretty dense, so I wanted to keep with that. Since I left a fair amount of space on the back side of the headband, that's the space I'm using, and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing. Work in sections and give myself just a little bit of hot glue area to work with out a time while I am attaching the feathers that are going on so that I don't end up with a lot of glue dried and just kind of bulky on the headband without anything adhered to it. So once the feather is on to begin with, the second feather you can kind of work in slightly larger sections if you want, if your glue gun's pretty hot and you think that it will keep the glue kind of melted enough to do that um, because you've got a guide of where it needs to go. You've got the previous feather so you can just work in a slightly larger section, pull it down. The great thing about hot glue is it dries almost immediately, like give it like maybe 20 seconds and you're good to go. So we are going to finish off this little section here, bring it all the way down. And I've learned the hard way that my hot glue gun is super hot, so I'm just going to press the end down with my scissors rather than my fingers, just like that. So that is the second layer. There we go. I'm gonna have to move this so you guys can see. Sorry about that. Second layer of our feathers, we're getting a little bit more of the density of the beautiful blue and green, a little bit more drama. So I'm thinking maybe just one more feather. We will see, but uh, then we'll be done. Okay, so we are doing our final feather, three. I chose one of the more sparse ones for this because you can see the different sizes of feather. This one went up and down and this one went up, 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 up a little bit more. I wanna even out that curve a little bit, so I chose one that's a little bit more sparse and it's going to go up and around and just kinda of even it out a little bit. So we're going in with our hot glue for the very last time, kind of securing down the edge just like that. This is gonna be the thickest side because the feather is the thickest at the base. And then also you're putting three of them there as opposed to over here where it's just like the literal thinnest part of the feather. So it is gonna be a little bit thicker at the base but it's not a big deal and it's really not even that noticeable like I can show you. It's like super not even that big or bulky. So don't worry about that. If it does bother you, maybe you can like wrap something cute like a ribbon or something around it. But it shouldn't be a big deal. We're just gonna go in inner sections, two, three, maybe four inches at a time. Kind of roll the feather down so that it sticks and just hold it until the glue dries. Try not to burn yourself. Basically, anytime I use hot glue, that is the mantra running through my head is just try not to burn yourself because I have a high temp hot glue. I used to have a low temp hot glue gun and things took forever to do and I was just like, you know what, I'm an adult. I'm getting a high temp hot glue gun Sometimes I wonder if it was a mistake because like the low temp did literally take forever. It was so annoying, but at the same point in time, like I actually get blisters when I hot glue things because I'm so used to years of a low hot glue gun that I put my finger in it to kind of press the thing down and it's molten lava. So um, yeah, but basically this is it. I'm gonna wait for it to dry to put it in my hair 
because a little bit of the hot glue isn't dry yet. But look at that, look at the blue and the green. It's beautiful. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Very dramatic, but not like super ostentatious. Like I could wear this on a normal day. I will wear this on a normal day. Like this is awesome. So it's gonna dry. I'm gonna put it in my hair, show you what it looks like. But hopefully. Okay, so I have moved away from the portrait so you can kind of see me a little bit better, hopefully. This is how it turned out. It's so beautiful. The blues and the greens. Oh my God, I love peacock feathers. They are blowing my mind. They're so pretty. And also with this on, it kind of feels a little bit like a tiara, not gonna lie. And I love that feeling. So it's a beautiful headband. Like I said, definitely brings the drama without being like too crazy. Like it's not costumey. It's just right. So this is how it turned out. I love it. I hope you love it. If you did, let me know by hitting that thumbs up. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I do really love hearing from you guys. If you liked the craft, the video, want to see me here again, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I'd love to see you here again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now. This is the gorgeous headband all done. Look at that. Look at the blues and the greens. So pretty. Oh my gosh, peacock feathers are just like the most beautiful thing ever. I love this thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you here again soon.